Walker Furniture is continuing a long tradition of providing comfort where needed here in our valley. Their recent outreach providing new clean mattresses to the firehouses of Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. It's an amazing program called Project Firehouse Rested and Ready. Linda Alterwitz Mizrahi, owner of Walker Furniture, joins us along with Chief Robert Nolan of Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. Welcome back to you both. We're thrilled to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Linda, you're amazing. I've watched you for four years. You've supplied mattresses to over 35 firehouses at this point. Tell me why you feel this program is so important. Sleep is critical. I mean, our firefighters, they're called day in and throughout the night as well. And if we can help to provide even a few hours more sleep per night, uh, I think that's really important. Absolutely, and you're doing so with Sealy mattresses, so you're, you're treating them to the to top of the line. It's awesome. Yes, and so two weeks ago, you delivered, it was 13 mattresses and foundations to Firehouse 44. Describe the whole scene of what that was like. Pretty incredible, every delivery. Uh, the Walker Furniture truck drives up. Our team, uh, along with the firefighters, they collect all the older mattresses, they bring out the new ones, take off the plastic, bring them in each room. And what's really neat about that is uh, working together with our staff, working together with the firefighters um, with this incredible program. Wonderful. You do for sure have some great staff at Walker Furniture. Uh, those guys are, are doing some work and, and working alongside the men and women of Firehouse 44. Chief, it's a special station, Firehouse 44. Tell us about their special skills. So fire. Uh, Firehouse 44 on Vegas Boulevard is our heavy rescue station. So this is the station that's uh, fully staffed with the heavy rescue, heavy rescue uh, paramedics, and they respond to all types of high angle, low angle, trench rescue, window washer calls, uh, arborists trapped in palm trees, any type of special skills that uh, they drive the world's largest toolbox and they are able to achieve whatever rescue, swift water rescue, uh, anything that's needed, all hazards, all risks, all the time. Wow, and so their training is essentially different? Their, their training is very advanced. Every firefighter has to go through uh, a water survivability test, but if you're on the heavy rescue, you go down to the Colorado River and practice getting in, out, and rescuing people in actual swift water uh, s scenarios and the high angle rescues, uh, being adept at knots, uh, tying ropes, and being able to rescue people uh, with whatever resources are available, particularly those uh, involving elevator entrapment. Ooh. We have to know all the equipment. So if, if you're trapped in an elevator, chances are Heavy Rescue 44 is coming to, to rescue you. Wow. Well, Chief, I was there, of course, and I mm -hmm. got to meet Melanie Denon, uh, the fire inspector as well, and she really elaborated on some of the scenarios. She mentioned arborists being trapped in palm trees. It's actually a frequent occurrence. It, it's incredible. It, it is. It happens all too uh, frequent. They, they don't usually have enough staff to, for the job they're doing, and the weight of the um, fronds as they cut them can uh, fall directly on the arborist and start to crush him. So they're not just stranded, they're being, being uh, crushed to death while, while they need to be uh, rescued. And we have to get back there. Access is very poor, usually along a right of way, along a fence line. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's difficult to get a, a, an aerial platform up, but we do a pretty good job. Uh, we, we, we've never left one stranded. That's amazing. Wow. Incredible. So Linda, after visiting so many firehouses, any similarities or differences? Yes. <laughs> Similarities is that every single firefighter is ready to go at any minute. They're always busy. Um, even during our deliveries, we've had uh, calls mm -hmm. during the deliveries. One time we had two calls during the deliveries. Two oh, trucks wow. went out. Yeah. Um, differences? Well, in our last firehouse uh, delivery, 44, there was a boat hanging from the ceiling. That was different. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're, uh, we practice all of those skills because we're all risk, all the, all the time. And if, if there isn't um, an SOP on how to do that rescue, we'll make one up on the spot. We, we'll use best management practices and we will find a way to rescue those people 
cause uh, with uh, minimum exposure to risk for all parties. No, it's just awesome. And the group you have there is obviously trained in so many different scenarios and they have to continue to train there, to keep their skills cutting edge. There, there's a special academy that they go to. We bring in um, experts from around the country to cool. assist with that training. And we also train um, uh, what we call rovers who can back up when that sta uh, for that station. There's, there's a waiting list to get in for that mm. duty because it's so specialized. The men and women of our department take a lot of pride in their specialty skills, whether it's hazmat, technical rescue. Chief, it's Wonderful. just awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Oh, my, my thanks Thank to Walker Furniture for this continued support. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank she, you to you. She's still going. <laughs> all that you, you, you do. Walker Furniture has two locations, of course, here in the Valley. The OG, the original store on Martin Luther King Boulevard downtown, and a newer location on Mark Street in Henderson. That's right. Visit their website, walkerfurniture.com. You can also follow Walker Furniture on Facebook and Instagram.